If you're gonna go onto your social media and tell people that you're selling a 10A hair, you're selling this 10A hair, please tell me why the hair is looking like hay in a farmyard. Why is the wig in a plastic bag like somebody took it out of a recycle bin? Does Kanye West go into the factory with a sewing machine and design his clothes? No, but it's still Kanye's blood clot line. It doesn't matter who plucks it, it doesn't matter who straightens it, the wigs are still mine. My good, good here bay, here bay who? Here bay blood clot UK. <laughs> Watagwan pa watagwan Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys So by the title of this video I'm going to be doing a mix up got it on myself Yes, you lot come into my comments talking about Oh, you're always chatting other people's business and all this rubbish Well, we're about to be getting into business of my own. If you're new to my channel and you do not know who I am, my name is Gade Philip or Gade for short. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the ting. Before I get into this video, this video is sponsored by Papalook, a live streaming webcam with the quality of 1080 pixels. This camera is so compact and straightforward and this is something, especially for people that don't have a camera and wish they could have a camera but they don't but they have a computer at home you can literally plug this in and start using it it comes with a webcam that also is attached to the cable that you will plug into your computer or your laptop it also has a mount now guys obviously there are some computers out there that are bulky and these things cannot attach to it so it comes with a mount so that if it can't go on top of your computer screen you can just mount it up on the side and then you'll still be able to use it the same it also has a touch sensor adjustable light so you know them webcams that do not come with no light like you need some kind of brightness some kind of white light this one comes with it. There's a lot of webcams where you're gonna now have to buy an additional light. You don't need to do that around here. You have the adjustable light and it comes with three brightness settings and its highest brightness is white as hell. You're definitely benefiting from the quality of the lens and the brightness of the camera. In terms of setting it up, I have a MacBook. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on a MacBook. Setup on a MacBook is super, super, super easy. All you need to do is plug it in, mount it up, and go to the app Photo Booth. Once you're on Photo Booth, it will automatically come up with the built-in camera. All you need to do is go to your top left of the screen, click camera, and the camera that is plugged in will come up in the column. You just press it and it changes to the webcam. It's so easy. If you're a Windows user, you will need to download AMCAP, but once that is downloaded, everything is fine and easy to go. If you're interested in purchasing one of these cameras and you can't afford a camera itself because cameras can be super expensive, the price and all of the information will be in the description box below. So many of you come into my DMs and ask me about cameras and prices and cameras can be very expensive and sometimes the most expensive camera doesn't last the length that you would expect it to. Sometimes your camera will just chip out and stop working or the lens will stop working. In this case, it's a webcam. It stays in one place, either on top of your computer or beside your computer. There's no lens that needs to expand. You don't have to worry about the lens shattering, the lens malfunctioning. It is very straightforward. All of the information for this product will be in the description box below. I will also add other versions of this webcam which also provide a higher quality. Thank you again Papalook for sponsoring this video and now let's get into this mix up gutter. Something like this would be more so set for a story time but we're gonna do it in the format of a mix up gutter. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, Gutter Philip sells wigs child. Gunner Philip sells wigs. So last year I began selling wigs and I didn't know what I was doing. My friend at the time would teach me how to pluck and that is what I was learning. I also put up an IGTV video of me styling a few wigs, basically just gaining my own practice. From me basically advertising how I would do my wigs, how my wigs are gonna look, that's when I started to get my own customers. I get a Snapchat message and the Snapchat message says, hey, um, I'm a hairdresser, I 
I'm just starting out. If you need any help, just let me know and I'll be happy to do them. Where the hairdresser was, it was convenient for me. I was gassed. I was thinking, all right, cool. If I can't do something, like if I can't get a wig bone straight or if I can't pluck a wig dramatically, then I will go to her. In me starting going to her, she did one or two wigs at first and I would promote her business. The agreement was that I would promote her as two separate businesses. So I'm going to promote myself and my hair. I will promote her installation and customization business as a separate business. That is what the agreement was. One thing I can take accountability for and as a whole is not every person that approaches you offering something and comes at you, you should just take firsthand you should actually look into the person and get to know the person and make sure you have a professional business understanding. So that is where I can say I went wrong. So as soon as she had messaged me, I had immediately said yes. I saw her work and I had me immediately said yes. And obviously we came to an agreement that she'll do the work in exchange for promotion. As I'm promoting her business, her audience on Snapchat is growing and also her audience on Instagram is slowly growing. There was a period of time where I was doing a sale. Eight people bought wigs at one time. I was literally so stoked. I brought all the wigs to my hairdressing assistant. I wanna pay you, How, what is your rates? I'd like to pay you, like I don't want you to do all of this for free. She goes, no, it's fine, no, it's fine. But I had asked of her bank details, she gave me her bank details and I transferred her 100 pounds. I know that 100 pounds might be cheap for seven wigs. Also, she didn't give me her rates. Obviously, I'd be promoting her as well. So obviously, if even if she did give me her rates, it would have been discounted from her original prices. So that is why I gave her 100 pounds. While we was in the house and she would be doing the wigs or plucking one wig, I would be bleaching a wig. So we would be like bouncing off one another. She would wash a wig. I would then dry it and then she would then go on to pluck in. I would then bleach, I would then wash, dry. Like we would just work off of the back of one another. There was never a time where I would literally sit there and watch her just do it all because at the, at the end of the day, I knew that she was doing my wigs for free. Because I have a conscience and I'm a 26 year old man, I bought her three large tubs of the powder bleach I bought her the liquid, I bought her heat protector, I bought her foam, I bought the wax stick, all the equipment that she could use to do my wigs, but also if she had any clients, she could also use it on them. I had no issue with that. One thing I can definitely say is that when you have a business relationship with someone, when you are conducting business with someone, don't make it get personal. Do not make it get personal. So where I went wrong was while I was there, I'd be talking about YouTube, I'd be talking about a video that I'm about to post. For those of you that do not know, I'm a very quiet person. When I'm around people or when I'm around an environment that I'm not necessarily used to, I'm a very quiet person. So majority of the time, I'd be sitting and editing a video or I would just be sitting on my phone or I would just be on Snapchat or whatever. I wouldn't talk majority of the time, but when there were times where we would have a conversation, the conversations would be like about YouTube, about how much I'm charging for this and that. And there's so many things wrong with that because as much as I want to be friendly and I want to make somebody comfortable around because I'm actually in their home, like it is a business transaction at the end of the day. I feel like in this whole situation, we both got comfortable with one another. It got to a point for me yeah, where I just felt like as much as I'm promoting her business as a wig, as somebody that makes wigs and styles wigs, I don't feel like you're, you can earn, you're, I don't feel like she's earning what she could earn. So I suggested to her, why don't you start selling wigs? She's now selling wigs, she's making money from the wigs. I'm promoting her customization service and her styling and wig construction service, but I'm also promoting her selling the hair. I had no issue with it, but and that's where I feel like that's where I went wrong. It also got to a point where obviously we've gone into lockdown and I'm not gonna travel all the way to you for one week. Where I went wrong was, even when I wasn't getting my wigs done by her, I was actually promoting her business. So there'll be weeks that when weeks and weeks will go by and I haven't gone to her and she would message me and be like, oh, can you promote this? And I will put it up. That is where I went wrong because this was a business transaction. The business agreement was that you will do my wigs and in exchange, I will promote your business. But if you're not doing my wigs, why am I still promoting you? 
but that is where I said we we was growing on a per like we was growing our relationship on a personal level and that is where I can say no don't do it don't don't do it and that's another thing as somebody like that as a, a public figure needs to learn it's like these people don't care about you they don't care they just want your engagement so if they can just get your engagement then that's what they're going to get they don't business about what's going on in your, in your life and all this rubbish i'm going to fast forward on to what has been happening in the last couple months we're in lockdown and i haven't seen this girl for weeks i we we're, i haven't seen her for weeks around november december i wasn't really getting much wig orders i think i got about one or two wig orders and guys i don't need to lie about me knowing how to straighten a wig or pluck a wig it it does take time but i've been doing this for nearly a year now i'm pretty much capable of doing it i have straighteners I have tongs, like I've got all the equipment. And obviously I've woken up to a message. The message says, hiya, got it, hope you're well. I know you do here and I have seen your website, lovely here. However, I just wasn't quite ready to purchase it yet. I've been seeing you on Snapchat that you've been promoting this hairstylist. So I checked her page and I had seen she was having some sales. So I thought, hmm, Gade has promoted her thing. This can't be a scam. She seemed like a very genuine individual. When I DM'd her, I asked a ton of questions about a blonde 26 inch 13 by 6 10A wig. On this very day I spoke to her, I purchased the wig and sent her £195. Lord, I received the wig. It weren't even in those nets or bag things that you'd normally receive a wig in. That was a minor. Then I look at the hair and got it. You won't believe it was a teapot. I have to laugh. I've been losing my marbles over this one here. I totally understand it's not your fault. However, Mina Tink say you should promote this girl. She's a scammer. She may not see it, but what she did to me was awful. If you want the chat and pictures of the wig, let me know. Have a blessed day. Now, somebody that is has a public platform, when I'm promoting things or when I'm broadcasting things on my social media, I have to always be mindful. I have not seen you in months and I've been promoting you, your business, and this is what you're doing. That was what set me off. I said, I can speak to her. Have you cut the lace? She says, no, it's still sitting there in the packaging. I said, I'm going to speak to her. Can you give me until tomorrow morning? She goes, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So I've messaged the hairstylist and I'm talking to the hairstylist and I'm like, hey, um, a customer's reached out to me and said that you, she ordered a wig from you, but the wig is a teapot. It's not, she can't style it in the way that she wants. And the hair is very bad quality hair. If you're going to go onto your social media and tell people that you're selling a 10A hair, you're selling this 10A hair, please tell me why the hair is looking like hay in a farmyard. Why is the wig not even plucked? Why is the wig in a plastic bag like somebody took it out of a recycle bin? Like, but I've been promoting you, you know? Do you, do you people understand where I'm coming from? It's just like when these people promote businesses and it's not, they're, they're using fake pictures or stuff like that. It's like, bro, what are you doing? The difference, the difference between my business and her business is because I'm watching her do the wigs. I'm watching her do my own wigs. Obviously, when, when my wigs are plucked and styled, the way they look are completely different to hers because my wigs are 10-10. Like, I don't need to even cap. My wigs are 10-10. Do you understand? So, when I read this message, I was confused. She goes, oh, she was coming in my DMs on a hype. And once she said that, I just thought to myself, I forgot I'm talking to a fucking teenager. I said, can you sort it out? The woman has not plucked the wig. She's not done anything to the wig. The wig is as it was when you shipped it. Can you sort it out? She messaged me back and she said, cool, I'm going to sort it. I hadn't gotten back to the woman yet. And the woman goes, hi, I was wondering if you had a chance to speak with a girl today. I understand you have other things to do. I responded by saying, sometimes when talking to her, she can be a bit defensive with me. So I have to leave her to learn the hard way. But I advised her about her packaging and her communication and customer service. I also mentioned your order and she said she spoke to you and she's sorting it out. I also questioned if T-Part was in the description when purchasing the wig. She said yes. 
I also mentioned payment through bank transfer can be really unprofessional and one of those days a customer could be bad mind and report the transaction if they aren't happy with the purchases to be so be careful so guys obviously she's start just starting out her business but you're you're doing just bank transfers you're just taking all this money into your bank account like it's unprofessional like there's no there's no security with bank transfer and when people are transferring you money they have no security with that transaction once you get that money that's it that's not how it works for those of you that have businesses that say oh no refunds no refunds that's not how the service works no refund only applies if you have damaged the product or used the item but if the product is as it was shipped then you should be eligible for a refund. Do you get what I mean? She shows me the screenshot of what the girl posted. There's no indication of teapot. She goes, this is what I asked for, but in blonde. And what did she say? She's sorting it out because she blocked me. I said, huh? She blocked you? She said, yes. She then shows me the conversation. And I'm just thinking to myself, she goes, let me show you the wig. She, and she sends me a picture of the wig. I said, KMT, all of this is too much. This is why I stopped promoting people because simple business can't be done properly. I can tell it was a genuine post from you. Reason why I decided to get it off her, but Jan knows I should have bought it from you, KMT. Now, guys, I don't think you don't understand. Our agreement was I promote you in exchange for your services realistically if those services stop i should no longer be promoting you but i continue to promote you fam somebody messaged me in june or july somebody messaged me earlier on in the year like around june or july telling me that i should not work with this girl and even after that i said don't worry i'll speak to her it's fine and i continue to work with her even when she was conducting bad business I'm going to try my best to get it reversed because she's having an attitude with me. Business won't run when I stop promoting because a lot of your engagement was coming from my promotion. Anytime I would post, you would get five to eight wig orders, 200 pound a pop. So you lot can do the math. I then reached out to the girl and I said, do you know what? Like, I'm afraid if you're not, if you're, if you're happy to not give the girl a refund, then I will have to go my separate ways and I will, I can no longer promote you because there's no way on my name, you're just going to continuously message me. We're in a lockdown. We're coming up to a new year. Like there's no way you've not done no work for me. I'm still promoting you. And there's no way you're not even gonna actually listen to what I'm saying. Now with this that's going on, everybody is aware that I've had a public fallout with somebody. One thing I don't like about people is when people like to do this meddling thing. You know two people are not talking, so you go and be mix up. And one thing about that, that shows your character. It doesn't show, it's got nothing to do with me, yeah? I privately ended our agreement. I privately ended our agreement. Nobody knew that I was no longer working with you. I didn't make a public thing about it. I didn't post up no indirects. I didn't do none of that. Why on earth are you going to the person that I no longer speak to and sending some, them some long fabricated message talking about, oh, he said that I was a scammer and he stopped working with me. He wasn't paying me. He wasn't paying me. That was the main context of the, of the message. He wasn't paying me. He wasn't paying me. He wasn't paying me. Bro. Bro, I have no issue with paying nobody. And that wound me up because it's like, you know that me and this person are not talking. So whatever you say to this person, it's gonna be believable because obviously you've been my hairdresser for nearly eight months. The context of the message was, he wasn't paying me, he wasn't paying me. I was chatting about this person, that person. And I'm just like, bro, I can count the amount of times I had a conversation with you in that house about anything other than the hair talking about, oh, I took all the credit for the hair. Does Kanye West go into the factory with a sewing machine and design his clothes? No, but it's still Kanye's blood clot line. It doesn't matter who plucks it, it doesn't matter who straightens it, the wigs are still mine. My good, good hair bay. Hair bay who? Hair bay blood clot UK. So you talking about, oh, he took all the credit for my work. Hold on a minute. The agreement was to promote our separate businesses. The agreement was not for me to promote you and say, oh, I have an assistant that's doing my wig. There was no agreement like that. I asked you multiple times. You was not budging. And I was just thinking to myself, okay, well, I want to stop asking. I'm not, I want to stop asking at this point. In the message, you was talking about, oh, how your mum found out that you was doing wigs for free and she was like, what the hell am I doing? Excuse me? 
every time I left your house, I promoted your business without fail. I would even voluntarily message you and be like, oh, send me that, I'll put it up for you. Even when you was trying to sell your Balenciagas, I put that up on my Snapchat. Something that wasn't even business related, I put it up on my Snapchat for you. That was my problem. That was my fault. I allowed you to get comfortable. This is what I need to say to people. People that are out here and they're gonna do like promo in exchange for a free service. Like guys, you, we need to set boundaries, have some kind of written agreement because this is what happens get invested in your life and get in your business when all this madness was going on on social media you'd be messaging me saying hey you're right just checking up on you or oh, ignore what's going on online protect your mental health you was doing all that but as soon as i stopped working with you i'm this demon i'm this vicious demon i'm this i'm this wicked person i pay my barber and i still promote him I pay my colorists, yeah, because I have a separate colorist to the person that customizes my wigs. I pay my colorist and I still promote her. About a couple months ago, when I did my black businesses unboxing, I paid for every single item and I promoted all of those items for three days. I have no issue with paying somebody, but you wanted the promotion. So that is where we're gonna leave it. And for people out there that go out and look for a free service and then complain about whatever the person does, after that it's none of your business once i give you your promotion whatever i do with the product that you gave me or whatever is none of your business do you understand this girl is spiteful three weeks went by i wasn't promoting her business she went to try and do some conniving shit but hear what i'm still selling wigs I'm still selling wigs. My business is still running because at the end of the day, my new assistant is being paid. Where, where I went wrong was I allowed both of us to get way too comfortable with one, with one another. For the, for the women that are watching this video, if you're looking for affordable wigs and you would like a black wig, blonde wig, a red wig, highlighted, ombre click the link in my description box below and shop guardianmerch.com slash hairbay uk or ready-made wigs that are pre-plucked customized and styled to your desire i will also be adding bundles frontals closures to my website just so that you guys if you want like a, a fuller wig a wig with more density than what an already made wig provides then you can there will also be an automatic discount on my website with 15 to 20% off on wigs. That is 20 to 40 pounds off on a wig. But I want to ask you guys a question. Was I wrong for getting comfortable with this hairdresser? Talking to her on a level, talking to her about YouTube, talking to her about like family stuff and all that stuff. Was I wrong? Was I wrong for like encouraging her, like just advising her to start her own business or advising her how to conduct a business. I want you guys to comment down below and tell me how you guys think I should have handled this situation and how she should have handled this situation. That was all for this mix up, got it. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the ting. And as I always say, don't blood clot mix me. Watagwan, pal, watagwan.